Buen dia. Buenos dias. Welcome to the Holbosch vlog. Today we're going to go to a few places. Actually, shall I show you the staff house? It is a shit hole, but I'll show you. This is my room. This is the beautiful kitchen. Beautiful cooker. And then you come out this fancy smancy. This is the living room. As you can tell, there's plenty of places to sit. We can have guests, we can have parties. There's room for us all. This is the garage, the local transport. Obviously, there's two of you that can go there. And yeah, I'm just very happy to be here, to be honest. So today's plan is, first things first, people. I need a cup of tea. I, um, I got PG tips, brought out here by someone else as a gift and I'll hide them in my room. It's really pathetic, isn't it? But I'm sorry to say this, this is actually really bad. And I don't say this about hostels, but people actually do steal from the kitchen. I'm sorry, it's not good, but it's true. I've got a few hostel stories as well. So me and three of my friends are going to, just going out for the day. It's my day off work. And there are the other volunteers as well. Wendy! Buenos dias. Bien, y tú? That's the receptionists. But I'm gonna get breakfast first. I need breakfast and a cup of tea. Hola, Ari. Buen dia. Today on the menu, ladies and gents, is pancakes with a smiley face. <laughs> These are my friends. <laughs> This is Matias from Argentina. And this is Aleandra from Mexico. Mexico. <laughs> We're a man down today. Angela is sick as a dog. <laughs> We've basically made each other sick. There each must one be of us. Something in the water, something. We were all sick. Plan of action today is we're up really early, even though we got back at 2 a.m. this morning. <laughs> Dancing to Bad Bunny <laughs> in the street. <laughs> we need to move this camera because it looks like I'm just dancing to myself. <laughs> Perfect. This is the hostel Pablo. No. <laughs> What's this called? Palibo. Pala Palapa. Palapa. So, Conta Mosquito. Apparently it's best to go early, early doors, so that the water's low. And how would you describe it? A sandbar? I think that, that, that's yeah. the name of it, yeah. It's a sandbar. That's all we know, people, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Worst travel vlogger of the world. No, no. <laughs> we don't know, this is where we're going. <laughs> we're all volunteering yeah. here. And we actually all do different things. I do the breakfast and the I'm bar. All the bar. Yeah. 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 All from different mm -hmm. places. We're all different expertise. But we unite. <laughs> Dancing Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny joined us. Yeah. We're always drunk when we're at work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, Che, if you're watching this, don't say no. <laughs> We'll edit that bit out, yeah? No. Yeah. Oli. Yeah. Oli yeah. is hi. Or hey. With the papaya. With the papaya. <laughs> we always have Spanish and English lessons every morning at breakfast, don't we? You help me, I help you. Muchas gracias. <laughs> Hola, Paige. Hola. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? <laughs> Esta por de boca. <laughs> so when you're with Argentinian people, they will always offer you mate. And we just all drink mate together and have a good old time. Oh, muy buen. Nos vamos. Bye bye. We are off on an adventure. Okay, so about last night, we went out. We were dancing in Hot Corner and we saw, I don't know, is he your friend? Do you know him? Or is it Angie that knows him? It's a guest. He basically walked up to us like soaking wet and we were like, mate, why are you so wet? And he's proper Aussies like, been swimming in the ocean with Bar Luminous. And we were like, what? We went to the ocean like right at, I think it's just called Ho Ho Playa Holbosch. 
the main beach, you can just swim right there in the Bioluminous and it's right there. You don't need to go all the way on a tour or pay for a taxi all the way to uh, Punta Coco to go and see the Bioluminous. We were mind blown. So yeah, if you want to save money, like backpackers that we are, just go straight in the ocean here. So to get to Punta Mosquito, you want to walk all the way down to the beach and then it's to the right hand side. So you just keep walking and walking and walking and walking until you're in the ocean. So we're just talking about the hostel and the horror stories, right? <laughs> Let's see your room. We've got a okay. picture. Like they only came yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, some people are just like, and the thing is, is for volunteers, I guess like they don't know that we actually live there. Yeah. Because we can't walk any further. And this is when we walk through the ocean, is it? Yeah. Yeah, my hips hurt. Oh, now we're in the hole. We made it! Land! Oh. Is there? This is a little bit of sand. <laughs> Are we gonna all fit on this little bit of sand? <laughs> oh my god, they're actually fighting. <laughs> It's got a full on fish. So we just had a photo shoot in the ocean. <laughs> Thank you so much for getting bitten off my ass. In the Caribbean. Yeah, it's all about personality. <laughs> it's also about um, getting good pictures of yourself. Because when I'm 75, I'm gonna I'm gonna be showing everyone. This is me, this is my ass in the Caribbean. <laughs> So, whilst I'm here, basically, you cannot go past this bit. This is a uh, conservation. This is like protected land. So you've got the flamingos over there. You've got stingrays. You've got a lot of birds that are close to extinction. So they're protected animals. So you're not actually allowed to go and venture off into that part of the island. It's not much stopping you, but you just really shouldn't do it. You want to protect the animals, protect the wildlife and protect the nature that's here. You can go and see the flamingos, but they will take you like via boat. Very slippery here, so quit out of. All appears a no-go. In the morning, like 7 a.m. is when the tide will be really low and it is just sand you can walk along. Anything more like eight, nine o'clock, then you're walking through some water. As the day goes on, the water will get higher. So I really, really recommend coming early doors. We're gonna get some empanadas. Guys, it's one hour and a half to walking through the ocean to get here. <laughs> so if you want to spend all day, bring food, yeah. bring water, bring like survival Gosh. stuff. Time to leave. We have to walk Just all the way back to the mainland. Guys, that was pure panic. We see these three people above us pointing, going, oh, and we're like, what is it? And they're like, it's a stingray. <laughs> I'm sorry. I want to get out now. We've got miles to walk. We're in the middle of the ocean with a stingray. <laughs> Guys, pure panic started hitting me then. For like shark, but I'm sorry, I think stingray's worse. Get me out of this ocean. I'm not having fun anymore. <laughs> no, I'm still enjoying myself. Just us three in the stingray. So we made it back to dry land. And now we're on the hunt for some empanadas. Real good empanadas. I'm really yeah. And we're budget backpackers, so we'll be taking you to that type of restaurant there. There's a restaurant there. A budget backpacking one. What is it, five empanadas for 100 pesos? Yeah, something like that. Four or five empanadas for 100 pesos. That's oh, really cheap. That's what I'm talking about. Right. We've just missed all of that. 
This is one of the very few. And when I say local, you know you always get them Coca-Cola chairs. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the red Coca-Cola chairs. <laughs> the plastic ones. The plastic ones, where you just like sit down and then the food's just like the best and authentic and cheap. So I think I'm gonna make it my mission before I leave to get like at least five or six places in Holbosch where like backpackers can come and eat really good Mexican food for cheap. Okay, so why, why, bleh, while we were in the empanada shop, we basically asked the lady, because obviously she lives here, and we said, is there any more places like this that are like local, that are obviously budget friendly, and like just traditional Mexican food, you know? Not like the fancy smancy stuff. Hola! Are you working here? Oh, Hola! <laughs> Hola! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, all good. I'm doing good, yeah. Yeah. We're actually vlogging. <laughs> so what were we saying? So, obviously we live in the island, so we actually know everyone. I love this picture. I wanted to get a picture of this, actually. This is very famous here in Holbosch. So, what was the restaurant called, she said? Uh, it's called Abuelo Tom, but it's like Grandpa Tom. It and translates as Grandpa good. Tom. Exactly. I mean, Grandpa Tom sounds like a place that I want to go to. <laughs> of course. And Honestly. she told me that also it's really cheap, like it's not expensive at all. And they serve good breakfast and lunch. Good breakfast and lunch. So maybe it's open at a similar time, because that empanada place is only open 7.30 till 5pm. Exactly. So it's not really like a dinner place. So I was vlogging. I was about to show you the town. And then the phone just died. So, sorry about that. Lo siento. I'm back in the hostel now. This is my dorm. This is my bed. It's very messy. This dorm is just messy. Lo siento. We won't show you that. Not for the minute anyway. So the football's on, right? And the hostel is literally packed. I think it's the Liverpool game. So I've just had a shower. I think I'm just going to do a little bit of work in that in the hostel. I've caught the sun really bad. Look. Guys, the sun is very strong here. Oh, my shoes. <laughs> so we're basically waiting for the best street food in Holbosch to open. He opens so late, it's 9 p.m. and he's like, 20 minutes, but 
We think it's gonna be 30. We'll show you the best, best street food. He does these tacos, but he does them in like pita bread. And the meat is amazing, like the cheese gets melted on, has the best sauces like chipotle mayo, like there's barbecue sauce, there's habanero sauce. Mm, my mouth is watering, I'm salvating. So we're gonna, we're just at the kids park, me and Aleandra, we're just swinging like a couple of children and our, my actual ass does not fit in this chair, look. Even the salsa, what is it? The pavo de tacos, eh? It's like. My pizza? With crema? So the meat goes on like this pit and bread rather than the normal taco, and it just oh, it hits different, doesn't it? It's 45 pesos per pit of bread taco, but it's absolutely unreal. Absolutely unreal. Eh! <laughs> Stop it. So we found a little bench, eating our street tacos, and I think I'm gonna call it a day. Good night, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Send it to your mother. That's it, adios, or hasta mañana.